You will begin to touch heaven, Jonathan, in the moment that you touch perfect speed. And that isn't flying a thousand miles an hour, or a million, or flying at the speed of light, because any number is a limit, and perfection doesn't have limits. Perfect speed, my son, is being there. That's a quote from a book called Jonathan Livingston Seagull by Richard Batch. It's my favourite story of all time that's inspired me for, well, most of my life. Jonathan is a girl that isn't content with fighting for scraps of food with the other girls. Jonathan wanted to fly. All girls can fly, and they fly well, you must understand. But Jonathan, he wanted to achieve perfection. He wanted to fly higher, faster, and with more skill and style. He wanted to fly in ways that no girl before him ever had. Jonathan embarked on a journey of self-improvement in an endless pursuit of perfection. What he learns on his journey is fast, but the most important part was that perfection only exists in the pursuit. The continual self-improvements made are the perfection. The idea of perfection being linked to some sort of outcome is, in my mind at least, the opposite of perfection. Which is why I resonate so heavily with that quote. Any notion of a fixed level of perfection seems to be no more than a pipe dream, let alone a reality. Life could never be as simple or as rigid. When you're writing something, creating something, or doing anything really, perfection isn't the result, it's in the attempt. Like our seagull friend discovered on his journey. There might never be a time when you do something and you look at it and you think it's perfect. But that's okay, because everything can always be improved, no matter how good it is. I'm a writer, I'm well trained, and I have lots of experience. And I've never written something that I haven't later thought of a way to improve. When you were creating, and it doesn't matter what you're creating, because the medium is irrelevant. If you want your finished product to be good, and you want it to connect with its intended audience, then they need to feel the attempt when they view the result. There is no such thing as a perfect result or outcome. As Jonathan's mentor tried to teach Jonathan in the aforementioned book, perfection doesn't have limits. Perfection is the pursuit of continual improvements in itself. Perfection is the acceptance of a lifelong mission to improve. How does this translate directly to you as a business owner? A legitimate question. After all, I've talked so far in pretty abstract terms. What is perfect marketing? A myth, an unobtainable and unrealistic goal, or is it something else? In my opinion, it's the continual refinements and adjustments you make to ensure that you're reaching the right people at the right time. There's no such thing as the perfect marketing campaign. Perfection lives in the attempt. Perfection is found where repetition meets growth, where analysis informs action, where stagnation is avoided and progress made. You've been here before, you had an idea, and you put it out to the world. What did that moment teach you? What did you learn? You need to separate fact from feeling, which, as a human being, is much harder than it sounds. Once you're able to make that separation in your thoughts, you begin to be able to see the value and what you can learn. Growth begins with honesty and accountability. It's accountability to yourself. Examine every aspect of your marketing campaign. Compare your intentions to your results. The emails you send out, are you split testing? The social media content that you're posting, is it getting the engagement that you need? What about your website? Is it converting visitors into customers? Everything you put out into the world produces some sort of a result. People ignoring what you've put out into the world is, in itself, still a result. When you analyze the results of everything you put out into the world, you will begin to see patterns form. The data from such analysis enables you to continually improve and refine your marketing efforts. This is perfect marketing. This is recognizing that perfection lives in the pursuit. This is perfect speed.